Ah, uh, ah, uh, freaking hate this stuff. I'm just coming to you today with a little bit of a life update video. If you have me on like Snapchat or Instagram or anything like that, you will already know all about this, but I just wanted to explain it to everybody on YouTube just so you know what's up. Um, some of you may or may not know that I have a dog and I've had a dog for 12 years. I have had Nikki, Nikki's my dog, since I was 10. And I'm 22 now. Holy shit. That's over half of my entire freaking life. I know more. I know more of life having my dog rather than not having it. That's crazy. To make the long story short, my dog is extremely sick right now. She has been lying. I'll, I'll show you guys her in a bit. I just didn't want to do the entire video with her because I don't know. She gets really, she, she's always gotten so stressed out whenever I record videos. It's probably because I'm usually yelling at the top of my lungs and destroying stuff. Whenever I record videos, she's usually super stressed out and always runs the fuck away. Like she dips instantly as soon as I start recording. I didn't want to record an entire video with her while she was feeling like trash. <sighs> the long story starts about a month ago. Um, Nikki has had arthritis in all of her knees for a long time and she was on painkillers for a long time for that. So basically whenever she walks, her knees and joints all hurt really bad. It hasn't been like bad until over like the past week where it's been really noticeable. Like every time she tries to get up, you can see her back legs start to shake. And whenever she tries to lie down, she has to spend about a minute situating her body until she can actually lie down. It's really not, like not what a dog should be doing like a, no dog wants to like a dog wants to run around and you know sniff buttholes and catch things but nikki like just has this issue where it's really hard for her to get up and walk around about a month or two ago i was walking her and then just completely out of nowhere she like collapsed onto the ground and her neck her neck started to slowly move up and shake is it's one of the fucking scariest things i've ever seen in my life like it looked like basically like a human having a seizure like they fall onto the ground and they start to shake a little bit like her head was just slowly rising up so and then out of nowhere it stopped so i was like okay fuck this shit i'm bringing her home right away so i walked her home and she was completely like dazed out like you could tell something wasn't right so after we got home so after we got home, over like the next like two hours, she would, her neck was just shaking, or her head was shaking, and whenever she would try and get up to like go to the bathroom or anything, the same thing would happen where she would collapse and have this like mild seizure. It's, it's fucking terrifying. Like imagine like your best friend, your dog, you know, your cat, your person, mom, dad, cousin, whatever, like gets up and they just collapse. Like it's... The, like it wasn't even like collapse like a slow collapse. She like smacked against the cement like it's this sh It was terrible. We take Nikki to the vet for that They keep her overnight for an IV and they say that she's really old And then when dogs start to get old they start to maybe collapse every once in a while or things start to happen with their heart and That it wasn't that it wasn't looking good So we brought her home expecting the worst but hoping for the best but then over the next couple days, like it just stopped. She stopped collapsing. She was back to being really peppy, being happy, being fun, being able to walk around. And it was like, just, there was no explanation as to why it happened. That was the first close call. And then about a month goes by. And then the other day, this is when everything else started to happen. I noticed that her breathing was really not, not the way it should be. So usually when a dog breathes or anybody breathes, they take a big breath in like, and then they let a big breath out like, but her breathing was like huge breaths in and then very little breaths out. So it's like, <sighs> which is not good at all. I also noticed that her sides were a lot bigger and bloated than they usually were. Like it looked like her ribs were being pushed out. So I take her to the vet, they examine her and they say it could either be heart failure or cancer. If it's cancer, there's nothing you can do to fix it. And if it's heart failure, you can medicate it, but it's never really going to be fixed. They did an x-ray of her insides. And so this is what a normal dog's inside should look like. You see, you can see like the heart and the lungs and everything like that. And for Nikki, this is what the inside of her looked like. You can't, like, you can't see anything at all because there was just, there was fluid are in and around her heart and her lungs that was just pushing that was and that's why she was so bloated this liquid was pushing out her ribs and it was just encapsulating her heart and her lungs making it basically unable for her to breathe they had to do an ultrasound to figure out if it's cancer if it's heart failure or if it's something else the ultrasound guy wasn't available to the next day and at the vet that we go to the ultrasound costs five hundred dollars the vet there said hey you can take her to these vets that are closer to where you live um, and they'll be about five to seven. And I said, okay, well, five to 700, that's not that bad for us having to go somewhere else. And he said, no, an ultrasound at these other vets is five to $7,000, which is 
which is fucking terrifying. Think about being a pet owner and you take your animal to the vet and they say, yeah, so your dog either has this or this. One, in one case, you're gonna have to put your dog down, and in the other case, we can do some medication to maybe fix it. But for us to figure out whether we have to put your dog down or we can medicate it is gonna cost you $5,000. I'm smart with my money, and if that was the case where they're like, hey, you need to throw out five grand right now to find out if your dog's gonna die or not, I could do that. But there are so many people on Earth in this planet that would like just think about given been given that situation here do this this or this pay this amount of money or you're not going to know if your dog is going to have to be put down or if you can medicate it if she's going to suffer for the rest of her life or anything some people just have to say okay um i can't afford that there's shit in america that happens where people are faced with decisions like that for not only their animals but because of the healthcare system for like themselves or their sons their daughters their nephews their cousins um, their family where they have to be like, okay, this procedure is going to cost you $100,000. Or, just an example, your child is going to die, right? And say this person has $1,000 in their bank account, they're going to have to be pit with being in debt, losing their house, losing their home for the rest of their life, or saving their child. Like, I just don't, this is, this is fucking it's the scariest thing. It's so scary. So we leave her at the vet overnight, and they, they do the ultrasound, and they luckily figure out that it's not cancer, that Nikki doesn't have cancer, so that doesn't mean that all hope is lost. They say the liquid inside of her is like a certain name of liquid, I can't remember what they called it, but it's an unknown liquid that you need to be, give, you need to give her medication so that the liquid can be drained every so often so that it doesn't fill up and stop her from breathing again. They also found out she has like a stage three kidney problem, so she also has to be medicated for that. So let's just like the, the terrible fucking, the terrible stuff is Nikki has arthritis in all of her bones, like all of her joints. She has arthritis. She has like a stage three kidney problem that has to be medicated. She has liquid filling the insides of her heart and lungs that has to be drained. We got her back from the vet two days ago and she's just been extremely, extremely sad. Like she just doesn't seem like, and then I'm like, I don't, I just, I, I'm not trying to be like a negative person and say oh, all hope is lost, like shit's gonna go bad, but like, <sighs> being like her family, we just want what's best for her, right? Like you don't want your animal not being able to walk, not having proper kidneys, and being basically unable to breathe and be living, right? Because that's not, that's not good. That's a, like a person living in pain. Like if like that shit was happening to me, if somebody told me, Derek, all your joints are fucked, you know what, your kidneys are failing, and uh, you're gonna be having liquid filling your lungs and your heart forever, and you're gonna be depressed as hell for the rest of your life. I'd be like, fucking pull the plug on me. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to live. I don't want to live like that. That'd be fucking terrible. We have to see what happens over the next few days with the medication and stuff like that because we just started on her yesterday, and we can see maybe that will help. Who knows? But I just really sucks to say, but we're probably gonna lose her pretty soon. Probably gonna like. She's old. And I also, I also wanted to say in this video, there are people who really don't understand how somebody, like, oh, it's just, like, it's just a pet, dude. Like, come on, it's just a dog. Like, just move on. Like, you, you'll never, you'll never understand this shit until you have a dog for yourself. Because not only is a dog, like, a companion, your dog becomes, like, your best friend. Somebody, if you, I hate to say, I hate to say, like, I own a dog. I'm a dog owner. Because it's, like, it's, like, they're not... Like, I don't own them. Like, it's like they're just a member of the family. Like, they're just, I don't, I don't own my sister. I don't own my mom. My mom doesn't own me. We're all just, like, members of the family. So, I, you really can't understand how impactful a dog will be on your life until you have one. When you have a dog as a part of your family, they're always excited to see No matter what, your dog is always happy to see you. Who do you know in your life that no matter what is going on, this person is always happy to see you? Every single time. That's the best, the best part of a dog's day is either when they get to shit, <laughs> when they get to eat, and when they see their family, when they see other people. A dog is happiest when you're giving them attention, right? And also with dogs, they don't get, like, they don't give a fuck about, like, they don't give a fuck who you are. They're, they, they're not racist they're not racist they're not religious they're just like they love you for who you are no matter who you are you're black white yellow pink purple brown your dog will love you you know you're a christian you're a muslim you're jewish you're this you're that your dog will love you and like it's just like it's just such a beautiful thing to have this member of your family that is always willing to cheer you up always willing to come over and lie with you always willing to you know go for a walk with you and will listen to anything you have to say even if they can't understand you They'll sit there and listen, and like, like they don't care, and it's like, they, they just, 
they just love you. Your dog just internally loves you and just wants to be with you. Like that's the best part of their day is seeing you. That's what they love the most. They love, they're never happier than when they're with you. And that's just, it's just the realest form of love. If you have any stories about your dog, leave it in the comment section because I love reading those. But I just wanted to update you guys on this because I don't know what's going to happen over the next couple days. Like Nikki's looking pretty, pretty sad right now. But you know what? In two days, she could be 100% better and be on her way walking around, you know, shitting in my room like she always does and stuff like that. But right now, it's not looking, not looking that great. As of me recording this at least. So I just want to let you guys know about the current situation, just in case you may see like an absence from me on social media a little bit. Maybe I'm not feeling too hot and stuff like that. And we just want whatever's best for her. And making that decision is never easy. It's never, never easy for anybody because like you love, you love, you love it. You love it so much and you want to do anything in your power to keep it with you. But sometimes, you know what? Sometimes the best thing is to, you, you love something, sometimes you gotta let it go for its best interests. We can go take a peek at Nikki. Here, let's, give me one sec. She has, um, she had a big patch of hair taken off of her chest right here, so they could extract the liquid out of her, out of her lungs and her heart. But, you know, she's, she's chilling. She's just been chilling all day. How's it going? Who's that? Is that Nikki? Are you looking at yourself? What you looking at? So, you see over there, yeah, you see over there, that's that's me. That's Derek Gerard from YouTube. Don't don't forget to like and subscribe, Nikki. And that's Nikki right there. Oh. Oh my goodness. Why you gotta be so cute? She's not in her blanket right now because she's avoiding it for some reason. I think it's because of the hot weather. She kinda wants to be somewhere where it's cold and it's cool. So she's on the the tiles. You love me? Even though I fart sometimes and it smells really bad, you still love me? You're supposed to say yes. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time. And uh, we love you so much. Thanks for all you do for us. And uh, yeah, just keep Nikki in your thoughts if possible. She'll she'll be fine. You're going to be fine, right? Good girl. Thank you. How much do I owe you? How much do I owe you for, be, for being featured, huh? A million treats? What the heck?